With the last challenge, I was actually kind of like sad with myself a little bit. I was a little, I felt a little defeated because I lost in the first round and I, the challenge before that, I kind of got seventh place and so right now I'm not doing so hot. When I play TFT, I always like kind of int in the first few rounds. It's, it's all part of the strategy. You gotta feed a little bit first before you win. So, you know, hopefully that plays a little bit more into my competition as I keep going down the challenge. I think my biggest competition for now would be Josh. Like he won the first two challenges, I was on the first two challenges, I was both second, so I was pretty close to him. Coming into the competition, I took out the bid challenge, I took out the first TFT challenge as well, and so I was pretty confident going into today, you know, felt good, I was, I was winning all the challenges, I was the guy to take down, you know. Grab your juice. Let's go meet everyone else over here. Hello. You look cute today. I love the giant bow in your hair. I know it. Dang, this is a really cool place. You guys all look fairly put together. So how was your night here? Jack wouldn't be quiet. He was snoring all night, man. I tried to go into the living room and sleep on the couch. I could hear him out there. I tried to lay on the floor. The floor is heated. That didn't even help, okay? I tried to stay up, I stayed up a little bit. Couldn't fall asleep, because Jack was just Like, just, just something that was uh, not helpful. Nibiru was telling me that I, I, would, I was snorting, but like the funny thing is, like he was snorting, so I heard him snorting, and then like I went to bed, and I think I started snorting, and he woke up and couldn't slept, sleep because I was snorting. Okay, did I say it's snorting? I meant snoring. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, any guesses as to what we're doing today? Something cold. Something cold. Something cold? Just because I'm in a giant puffy jacket, I think it's something cold. You guys ready to find out what we're going to be doing today? All right. Well, then we have transportation waiting outside. Let's hop to it. Let's go. Can I finish my bread? No. No. Eat your bread now. Get out. Get your stuff. No, no, no. Stand up. Come on, we're going. Let's go. Let's go. I want to finish my no. All right, let's go. Come on, Carter. The girls are out. That's hustle. Where are the boys? Oh. Okay. Go. 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 Come on. Go. Everyone's hyped. Don't forget to buckle up, and I'll see you guys there. All right. They have no idea. Definitely, we're trying to think of cold places. I think uh, snow. We thought maybe we were. We weren't sure how far we had to go. And then we turned around. We didn't really know exactly what we were doing until right, right up to when we actually got there. And then found that we were curling. <laughs> what? Curling? All right, everyone here, welcome to your first official challenge, also known as the Glacial Challenge. Guess who already has played curling before and who's already won the first two challenges? Oh, Josh. I actually competed in high school curling when uh, I was a lot younger. It was about 10 years ago now, so I was feeling pretty confident going into this. All right, so we all know that it's important in TFT to get as close to your ideal comp as possible. So that's what we're going to be doing with today's activity. Does this look familiar to you guys? Yeah? yeah? All right, well, I'll go ahead. No, not at all. I'll explain the rules for you then. Everyone is going to get five stones, 
each from a same comp. So we have light, shadow, glacial, and infernal. The goal of the game is to get your stone as close to the marker as possible. All of you guys are going to get five stones and the contestant with the three stones closest to the marker at the end of the game will move on to the next round. All right, now Pentamagic, as the winner of the TFT challenge, not only will you get an advantage in this challenge, but you'll also get a buy into the next round. I, I've actually played curling, so yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what? Okay, that's too many advantages. <laughs> All right, and who chose the glacial class? That's me. All right, well, because you are glacial for this challenge, you will get a buff and an extra throw. Nice. I'll need it. Now let's go ahead. Pentamagic, would you like to uh, find out what your advantage is going to be? Allow me to introduce to you the carousel. Oh. Oh, this looks pretty good. Okay. All right, Shoot so spikes. go ahead. Choose whatever advantage that you'd like to have for this challenge. I think adding a stone is best. Adding a stone is best? Yeah. All right, let's stop it here and pick up your challenge. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Solid, all right. Movie magic. Uh, he already has the advantages, but I don't know. We'll see if I could do this. I haven't done it before. I haven't done curling before, but we're gonna give it a try. All right, now as the challenge goes on, I will be asking everyone a series of questions. Some may be relating to Glacial and maybe some to the League of Legends and TFT universe. The first person to get the question right will receive an advantage. You guys ready? All right, then let's go ahead and start. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Do you have a stone in hand? No. Yes. All right, on your marks, get set. Chuck it! That one's good! Both great first throws for Tova and Nibori. All right, I have a first quiz question for you guys. First, only for the people who are competing in the moment. How many glacial champions do not have a fully human form? Volibear and Warwick. Yes, that's correct! You get an Ooh. extra throw! I mean, Olaf is the first one. This one is good. Oh, that's our closest one yet! All right, the first round is over. Let's go ahead and see who took it. All right, looks like... So the first round winners are Daisy and Tova! Woo! Jack, Katie, you ready? Yeah! Pick up your stone! for another trivia question. All right, if you guys want an advantage, answer this correctly. In terms of releases, who is the oldest glacial champion? Ash. Ezreal. Correct. Ezreal, he's the oldest boy. Yes! You get to undo a throw and it doesn't need to be yours. Oh, nice. That's mean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. All right, go. All right, it looks like Jack is in the lead and Katie needs to make both of her last throws as close to the marker as possible and beat out Jack and then use her undo advantage in order to pull off a win. It's gonna be pretty difficult. Let's see if she could pull it off. She didn't pull it off. And it looks like Jack is the yeah, winner! Katie, she had like a massive advantage. She not only had like the glacial buff, uh, got the first question right. I thought today went really well but I really want to beat Jack now because he got so cocky. Contestants, are you ready for the semifinals of our Glacial Challenge? Yeah. First up, Daisy versus Tova. Our second pairing, Jack taking on Penta. Ready, set, go! Pause! What is the most popular sport in Europe? Uh, soccer. Ice uh, hockey. Oh, no, no, now, it football, says football, football, football on the card. Football. Yeah, but, but, like it's soccer. Like. All right. I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to you. All right, Jack, your advantage. You get to add an ice block obstacle. <laughs> Let's find out. Don't trip. Place it here. Really good plan to block off like the whole line of sight. Uh, so he couldn't get like his curls in the middle and only like could push Michael to the middle and it worked out pretty well. So I smashed him so hard. He was uh, very upset, I guess. 
Hey, uh, Penta, you want to use that extra stone yet? Still feeling confident, buddy? Surprisingly, Jack is doing really well against Penta, who had uh, actually done curling professionally in high school. Uh, he also has one extra added stone advantage, so that may help him in the late game. Oh, watching Tova right now against Daisy. She is just coming up short in every single throw. Daisy originally threw the uh, first stone way too far, but it seems like he's getting closer. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, he threw it hidden into the other side. In an interesting turn of events. You're disqualified. Awesome. I was winning, like, I would say by quite a lot. Like, I had to mess up really bad to lose. And I think on my fourth throw, I did a, like a move where I knocked out the pin, like, away. What a sad, sad turn of events. Uh, let's go to the happy side. Toba, <laughs> you have won through disqualification of your opponent. <laughs> it's a German yeah. game, no one knows the rules. By the way, just so you know, you can get disqualified. I'm here with our referee, Steph. Now, can you explain to me why was Daisy disqualified? Um, because the marker puck crossed over the line to the other, um, the other team side. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people said that they didn't know the rule and that maybe accusing you of making the rule up on the spot. What do you have to say to that? I'm the rule maker. She's the rule maker. <laughs> Respect her authority. We're gonna let uh, Jack and Penta play it out and see who is going to advance onto the finals to take on Tova. So good. Penta, explain to me your stone placement choice right here. Well, I was told I'm gonna get it as close to the marker as possible, so I figured I'd cover it all sides. Right? <laughs> and they said anywhere. They didn't. They didn't specify it had to be on the ice. All right. It looks like everything's pretty close. We might have to break out the tape measure for this. All right. So I'm here with Steph, breaking out the tape measure to find out who is closest. What are we at? 226. 243. All right, we have just finished measuring from the marker. And the winner is Jack! Yeah. Oh. Congratulations, Jack. You will be moving on to the finals to take on Tova. Well, and tell me how you're gonna crush him in this final game. Yeah, I'm gonna crush you on this game. I mean, I've been consistent with all my throws, so. For someone who got only one because the other one got disqualified, <laughs> that's a pretty big words. Let's see who's gonna take it in the final match. Will it be Jack or will it be Tova? And the ever confident Tova has decided that she is going first. Tova, are you ready? Then let's go. Three, two, one, chuck it. Quiz time! Question for both of you. First to answer first correctly wins an advantage. Who is the best G2 player? Cut. All G2 players are our favorite <laughs> players, so everyone wins and you all get an extra throw for this final. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What is my favorite champion? LeBlanc. Morgana. Lux. Uh, Timo. Soraka. Soraka! Woo! Let's go! Soraka! All right, your advantage for this final is that you get a celebrity shot. You can employ anyone who has already been knocked out to come in here and throw a stone for you. I don't know if that's an advantage. Yeah, I'm gonna trust you guys that you're gonna help me because you're rooting for me. Yeah, come on, Josh. All right. Oh, Penta's to, coming up, taking the stage. On, I have to avenge them. Is it an extra stone or is it one of them? It's one of them. It's one of them, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's a nice oh, shot. Oh, oh. Push back, oh, push back. In a surprising turn of events, Jack went ahead and knocked Tova's marker much closer to the goal. Go! Oh. Oh. Our final throw. Let's go, Jack! Good luck, Jack! I don't think so. Uh, let's find our ref 
referee really fast. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't count. And the ref has spoken. No rethrows. Okay, so Jack's final stone will not count towards the uh, final score for him. But now that all of the stones have been thrown, we need to go measure it. So ref, let's go. Ref, who is taking this game? Um, the winner of this game is Jack. Yeah! Oh! So congratulations, Jack, once again for winning, and congratulations to everyone for completing our first official challenge. Now, I do have to say that, Jack, because of your victory today, you will receive an advantage in the next one. Yeah, definitely. All right, now who's ready to go get warm? Okay, let's go! I was pretty surprised at how well that Jack did in the curling. I thought I was going to win, honestly. Oh, shit, that was really close. But so I was even more happy that I won. I got almost first place by about three to two centimeters. So it basically counts as a win, but yeah, I mean, Jack's won. The bad news is we have to leave the fire. Okay. But the good news is we have something even more special. Oh! Okay. You won. Hey, you go first. All right, so since you all did such a wonderful job at our first challenge, we wanted to give you guys a special treat. So let's go on over and walk over, come on. Should we go look at the candy stand? Oh, wait, who's that chunk of candy? How's it going? Hello. Welcome to Rainy Berlin. <laughs> Seeing Carlos again there was actually really fun. I was very surprised since I know he is a very busy person. Like it's always very fun with him because he's joking so much and yeah, everybody's having a great time when he's around. <laughs> that slide was really fun. I, I realized when I was walking up a flight of kind of stairs with a big tube in my hand that, oh, I'm about to go down a really large lamp ramp. Um, all right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> we straight up hit the wall. That was such an experience, and I love the adrenaline rush that really just beckoned up my mood that I was feeling a little down on myself with the challenge before, but I felt, you know what? I'm gonna make the best of this, and this was an awesome experience, and I feel like the shoot went really well, and I was really enjoying myself here. Hanging out with everybody on a non-competitive level was really, really exciting and able to just relax. Um, I think it was a great experience. We took pictures in front of the Christmas tree, and they came out so cute. I want to get uh, first next challenge again, but I'm definitely looking forward to like giving the artist uh, like an opportunity to get revenge on me and crash them again. <laughs> I think I got a message. Good morning, everyone. Hope you all got some rest because you're going to need it for your second challenge. What? 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 Want some falafel? <laughs> we're doing dolphin training. Anything that benefits Josh, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Bad news, because the contestant who doesn't will be eliminated. You can feel the pressure coming when someone says that word. But someone's got to go at some time. <laughs>